Right, good morning to Lexington native Tyson Gay looking for one last run in the Olympics last night. The Olympic trials continuing and Gay needed to finish in the top two of his semifinal heat to advance to the final 100 meter heat. Let's start with the semifinals. Get hydrated. Drink the H2O. Gay in lane four. Yet another slow start for the five time U.S. 100 meter champion Trayvon Brumell right beside him in lane four. He goes on to win it. Runs a 9.86. Gay runs a 10.01. Nonetheless, both advance to the final. So let's go to that final heat. The top three go to Rio. Gay in lane seven. There's about four guys in front of him, though. It's 34 year old Justin Gatlin who wins the race. Gay finishes fifth. Likely the last Olympic trials for him. Gatlin becomes the oldest American at the age of 34 to make an Olympic team in the 100 since 1912. Rommel finishes second and Marvin Bracey finishes third. Those three are headed to Rio. Well, Rajon Rondo is headed to the Windy City. Rondo and the Chicago Bulls have agreed to a, a two year $28 million deal. The Bulls become Rondo's fourth team in less than two years after winning a championship with the Celtics in 2008. He was dealt to Dallas, then spent last season in Sacramento. Rondo will essentially replace Derrick Rose at the point guard position in Chicago. Rose, of course, was picked up by the New York Knicks earlier last week. Rondo averaged 11 points and a NBA best 11.7 assists with the Kings last season. Well, Jody Meeks will also get a fresh start when the NBA season rolls around. Meeks is now in Orlando with the Magic. After getting traded by the Detroit Pistons, he will enter his eighth year in the association, and the Magic will be his fifth team, but he is hoping this is the beginning of something good. I think just, you know, shooting. Um, obviously, I bring that to the table. Um, leadership, I'm a veteran now, so. I used to be one of the young guys, now I'm, you know, getting older, so. Um, we have a lot of young guys on this team, though, so they can use my leadership, um, but also, you know, just trying to win. I think, uh, you know, we're a team that, uh, you know, trying to make the playoffs, obviously, but we have a lot of young guys who are trying to get to that, you know, position. I've been there. A couple of people have been there, so um, hopefully we can, we can do that. All right, let's stick with the NBA team. Aaron Harrison finds himself in the exact spot he was last year at this time, playing in the NBA Orlando Summer League with the Charlotte Hornets. Harrison is the only Charlotte player from last season's roster at Summer League. So, yes, you know the goal to ball out in July and make the Hornets roster so he's not back playing Summer League again next year. Harrison and the Hornets taking on the Indiana Pacers yesterday afternoon. He scored just four points in the first half. Aaron, though, he came out the ball in the second half. Check it out. He went four for four from the field in the third quarter. Uh, get some of that. Scoring in a plethora of ways, creating and making all second half long, he had 10 third quarter points alone. He finishes with 15 along with his six assists and five rebounds, leading Charlotte to the 80 to 70 win over the Indiana Pacers. He talked with the NBA TV guys afterwards. Uh, I think I'm, uh, my strengths are scoring the ball. I think I can score. I got to get definitely get more efficient to be uh, an every night scorer in the league. And I think I can make plays for my teammates, uh, drive the ball, make, make, the, make the right pass and be a defensive stopper as well. Hey, how about Dakari Johnson and the Oklahoma City Thunder taking on the Clippers in the late afternoon game down there in Orlando yesterday. First quarter off the miss. Look at Dakari go up and get that thing. And then puts it back up and in, plus the foul. Thunder down by four after the free throw. Let's go second quarter. Johnson again aggressive in the paint, plus the foul. Dakari falling down. The big old man, uh, he, he, he was helping OKC. They were up two at the break. Second half, Dakari working hard in the paint again. What a day. He goes for five of nine from the field, records a double-double, 15 points, 12 boards. Thunder win the game 81-62 over the clips. All right, a baseball, Reds and Nats. It was a home run derby yesterday at Nationals Park. Second inning, we start with Wilson Ramos. Solo shot to left center off Jake Lamb. And then in the bottom of the fourth, bases all juiced up. Crack by Danny Espinoza. That's a grand salami. Espinoza, uh, he gives the fans a curtain call. And he wasn't done, though. Now 10 nothing in the bottom of the seventh. Espinoza. He went four for five with six RBI yesterday. He has had five dingers in the last four games. His 18 homers this season trails only Trevor Story, who has 19 among shortstops, that is, in the majors. Uh, the Nationals, they just crushed the Reds 12 to 1. That's final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.